God lives and works today. Whoever can testify to this from his own experience has found the greatest treasure there is, a treasure he would never trade with anyone. But how can we acquire this treasure? Normally, when you want to find a treasure, you have to go on a treasure hunt. Listen to today's meditation by Basilea Schlink called After I Found This Treasure. Not only in fairy tales do people try to find a certain treasure. No, this happens in the Christian life too. I was a Christian active in the local city mission and led the youth work there. But I sensed that I did not have the godliness that would enable me to live completely in the heart of God. I sought the key to this treasure. I asked respected Christians who played an important role in the development of my spiritual life at that time. I tried everything they advised me, but without success. My longing, nearer my God to thee, wasn't fulfilled at all. Then, in his great mercy, the Lord showed me the key to this treasure, absolute obedience towards the commandments of God, uncompromising discipleship. For Jesus says, If you keep my commandments, I will reveal myself to you. I will love you. I will come to you and make my dwelling with you. And what were his commandments? For example, it is written in Luke 6, verse 38, Give, and it will be given to you. I can still remember the first time I picked up this key in obedience to the word of God, not caring what people would say. At that time, I was making speaking tours throughout Germany and holding Bible courses. I had completed my doctoral work at the university as well as practical training in Christian service, so could have demanded to be paid accordingly. But the word of God says, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Matthew 6, verse 33. So I told my employer that I would be glad to accept a lower salary. From this time on till today, going this way with all our sisters without having any personal salary, we have experienced that the Lord acts according to his word. All these things shall be yours as well. You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.